And this morning I'm joined by Michelle Spina and Peter Matthews from Solar Edge, and we're going to be talking about Solar Edge's line, but specifically we want to start off. Step back on NEM3. I mean, for homeowners, essentially what this means is you're getting about 75% less for your export rates of electricity. The, the change from NEM2 to NEM3 is something that we've actually experienced in many other markets around the world. If you have an existing system and you're in NEM2, you add a battery to that Solar Edge system today, you'll still stay in NEM2. So we came up with this idea that the, the, the EV charger should be an uh, integrated appliance along with the solar system that can utilize the energy that you're generating from your roof. Solar Edge came up with the idea where we put this EV charger and we don't connect it to your main panel. We connect it to your inverter. The ability to bi-directionally charge your vehicle and use the energy in the vehicle in your home. Now, Um, now, I don't know how much more time we have here, folks, but I know one thing that the audience is really interested in right now, too, is how the EV charger fits into the whole smart home ecosystem, as you call it, um, especially now with announcements that a lot of the companies are going to be offering this two-way EV charging. So can you speak a little bit to what is Solar Edge doing in this space, and what, what would you say to homeowners or maybe installers that are thinking about getting more involved or maybe owning one of these uh, solar EV charge integrated systems? Yeah. Uh, Michelle, you want to? Okay. Well, let's start first of all. We were the pioneer in the solar industry to integrate EV charging with solar. So we came up with this idea that the 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 EV charger should be a uh, integrated appliance along with the solar system that can utilize the energy that you're generating from your roof and do it in a smart fashion where you're just not charging from the grid. Okay, so. If you use a Solar Edge integrated EV charger and the sun's out during the day, you actually are taking the um, solar energy, running it through the inverter, and then charging the battery and actually not using the grid to charge your car. So you're charging from the sun, okay? And we're the only company that can do that. Now, if you're a California homeowner and you want to add an EV charger and you want to charge your car quickly, you want a big EV charger. So it, um, the, the, the EV charger company will ask, well, how many amps of charging capacity do you want? Do you want 40 amps, which is, or 20 amps, which is incredibly slow. It takes days to charge um, a vehicle. You want to go to 40 amps, 50 amps, 60 amps, and in some cases as much as 100 amps. If you want to put 100 amps into a California home, you're probably looking at a main panel upgrade because you don't have that available current. And so you're looking at two, three, four thousand dollars in electric utility upgrades before you even add the charger. Just a word from our sponsor, Span.io and the Span Smart Electrical Panel. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus battery backup system for your home, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much solar energy you're collecting, how much energy you're storing, and where that energy is being spent within your home. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel allows you to dynamically control which circuits have access to backup power and which ones do not without the need of a separate critical loads panel and get up to 40% more running time on your battery backup. So feel free to go directly to the span.io website or you can just visit the link on the description below. It'll take you to the page, you can get more information or if you'd like to, get in touch with an installer right away. That's what California uh, homeowners have to deal with when they buy an electric vehicle and they want to charge it at home. Potentially a very costly main panel upgrade. Solar Edge came up with the idea where we put this EV charger and we don't connect it to your main panel we connect it to your inverter. And the inverter already has its uh, breakers mm -hmm. and you don't need to come up with additional breaker space in your main panel, therefore you're not gonna be triggering a main panel upgrade with our charger. So that's for doing what we call level two charging, which is um, charging basically with AC. Now, the current generation of electric vehicles and basically all the new ones coming out are going to be enabled with, with what's called vehicle to home or vehicle to grid. You're going to have a very large battery, mobile battery, sitting in your driveway. And wouldn't it be nice to be able to connect that vehicle to your home and use the battery for whatever reason? NEM 3.0, power's out, 
you're going to have this beautiful uh, yeah, this, mobile battery. This is the big thing. So how, how, do you, how do you make that work? So what you want to do is you want to be able to bi-directionally. Okay, bi-directionally means you want to be able to charge the vehicle at home when it needs more power. And you want to be able to uh, use the energy in the vehicle and run it the other way and actually uh, run the electrons and the energy back into the home and use it in the home to run whatever you want to. You could charge your own uh, uh, battery or in the case of a power outage, actually run your home. And there's probably how many days worth of energy in a car battery? I mean, they're like 120 kilowatts. Yeah, so you're, you're talking three or four or five yeah. days of running your whole home. It's, a, it's beautiful. So what you want is instead of what's called a level two charger, which is just AC one way, charges the vehicle, you want a bi-directional charger, okay, that both charges the vehicle and runs the home. Want to add anything to that? I'll just add a couple of simple things. Um, if you're looking for an EV charger today and you're looking at a solar edge system and you're thinking, should I wrap it into the, the solar system today? Um, it's a very easy thing to wrap into a solar project uh, because you can get the ITC on it, for one, um, but also um, it's, it, it works with all electric vehicles today. As Peter mentioned, it's a fast charger. So, you know, everybody that has an electric vehicle today needs a charger. Uh, it has a five-year warranty, which is the highest warranty on the market right now for EV chargers. And you can smart schedule it in that exact same app that you're using with your solar system, um, in addition to charging from the sun. So if you're looking at an EV charger today and you're thinking, should I go with this one or this one, um, those are the advantages today from our system that you can, uh, you can definitely expect. Yeah, it's actually interesting. In the last six months or so, we've seen such a increase in homeowners act asking for two chargers. <laughs> they yeah. they don't want to share their electric vehicle with their spouse, and that they don't want to share their charger either. So um, and they we are don't seeing get up that at three in the morning and switch the plug. Yeah, exactly okay. right. Yeah, so so we will see probably that evolution um, grow even more. Great. Well, Michelle, uh, Peter, thank you so much for spending some time chatting with us. Folks, some really exciting developments here. Solar, battery storage, whole home backup, um, bi-directional EV charging. Um, so folks, again, that's why we're here at these conferences is to make sure that if you're in the process of looking at different options like this for your home, or maybe if you're an installer and you're looking at different options that you should be offering to your homeowners, um, that's why we're here. That's why we're putting this information out. So make sure that you give us a thumbs up uh, and make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. That way, as we publish these new videos from the conference, it's going to come up on your homepage and you can stay up to date with us. Yeah. And one uh, last point, I do want to, I do want to thank Joe, you guys. Uh, at Solar Surge are really doing a service. You're not just out, you know, uh, selling solar and not not describing really the decision making processes that people need to consider. I mean, these are complex systems um, at their design and their core. They're obviously designed to operate very seamlessly for a homeowner, but you need to do you need to carefully consider a lot of these uh, products and technologies. And I thank I thank you for really educating people on that because uh, not a lot of people do that. So thank you, Joe, for, for doing that and spending time with manufacturers like us on these uh, on these products. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank, thank you for the support and everything that you're doing here. Really, really exciting stuff. We're going to keep up with everything that you're doing and try to get you uh, the most up-to-date, most accurate information. Uh, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.